In this video, I am going to show you how to use calendar view in Android Studio project using Kotlin. First create a new project and select Impetive Views Activity and click on Next and give the project name here. and keep the language Kotlin and click on finish first go to the gradle script and open the build gradle and add a view binding here and sync the project now go to the activity main.xml go to resource and layout and activity main.xml Now open the widgets and select here calendar view, drag and drop and constraint the calendar view and give the id for text view, text view, text view for output of the calendar view and I give the id for calendar view calendar view now go to the activity main main activity so first declare a variable activity main binding and initialize the binding binding is equal activity main binding dot inflate layout inflator and replace this binding dot root now set the on date change listener listener on calendar view so binding dot calendar view dot set on date change listener and first pass the view here and here month and D create a variable wall date is equal and format the value of day in two digit suppose date is 1 so 0 1 0 2 so format this percentage 0 2 D and pass here dot format day plus add a date separator here
and plus zero two D dot format. and pass here month value month plus 1 and plus date separator I want to display date first DD and MM and plus YYYY in this format. So design this format and year. Now display this date on the text view. So binding dot text view dot text is equal date now run the app now app is running and our calendar is displaying now select a date and our output is working perfectly if you want to get date in millisecond so create a variable wall m date is equal calendar dot get instance M date dot set and first year value year month and day value now binding dot text view dot text is equal m date dot times in millis and this will return in long so convert long to string dot twisting now run the app now click on calendar and select any date and we receive the date in milliseconds and this is the millisecond of the date choose any date select any date thank you for watching this video